Hey everyone, it's Lauren here and I'm popping in today to share with you a 9 by 12 inch Project Life page. Now I'm going to be using the Citrus Twist Life Crafter Kit and it's the Legendary Collection and when I saw this on their website I just... For some reason it jumped out at me so I picked up just the Life Crafter kit and an extra pack of the 6x8 papers because I thought I could do some scrapbooking layouts with it and I thought I would have a go at using some of the gorgeous elements from this kit to scrapbook this fun layout, well these fun memories of um, a family getaway that we went to and um, Uncle Peter my brother-in-law um, is quite the quite the fisherman and quite the nature enthusiast, which always excites me because I'm anything but a nature enthusiast. <laughs> I'd like to be, but I'm, the, I'm not. So off we went fishing and the kids were catching crabs, mud, well, like those little mud beach crabs that like hundreds run across the sand and um, we were digging and trying to catch big crabs to eat and... Anyway, so we had a fishing adventure and so I am documenting that. And there the photos are of our victorious catch of this tiny little fish, which was a joint effort by the three of us, my daughter, Uncle Pete and me. And um, it was that Pete cast, um, Pete cast the line, I... While he was helping the kids with something else, I chose to hold the rod whilst waiting for him to come back to me. Whilst that was happening, I felt a strange sensation down the line and Pete said, there's a fish. And so then we got Katie on to the job of reeling it in. So all three of us caught this little fish and I felt, wow, that was pretty exciting. <laughs> Anyway, so I have to document it. We had to take selfies. This was exciting. Katie touching the fish, Pete kissing the fish and me not touching or doing any of that, but still being part of the process. And um, and yeah, so there's our fun little story behind these photos. Um, and I thought I would just put together this page, delight in these memories that actually occurred way back in March 2020. So I'm a little bit behind on a few pages um, and um, document this gorgeous memory using these beautiful products. So in the Citrus Twist Life Crafted Kits, I believe you get these each time. I don't get to spoil myself with the Citrus Twist kits very often because it's very expensive for us Aussies to subscribe to... Um, international kit companies much to our devastation but my understanding is you get one of these sheets um, that have these gorgeous little tags which are so useful so fussy cutting those out and just adding them in little spots just to pop the journaling how could I not tell this fabulous story <laughs> and um and just playing around with that. So as you can see, all I've done is I've pulled my photos out and I'm kind of doing this um, page as a collective, as a, a as a page in itself. Not a, I'm not scrapbooking each individual um, photo. I'm scrapbooking it as a page because what I want to do is when I'm flicking through my album, I want to get an overall sense of the page and how it feels and how it coordinates. So I'm thinking about the colours, I'm thinking about the layout and how things sort of go. I tend to like um, threes and working in triangles. So as you can see, I've got a patterned um, base cardstock at the top in that four by six photo there. Um, four by six pot spot there and down the bottom I've got another heavily patterned one there and just to the side there where Pete's kissing the fish I've used that yellow and white chevron card there and as you can see just those three pops of pattern just sort of tie that whole layout in and then I, what the others have um, are either the, just the photo itself or just a plain background having that kind of triangular patterned sequence is something that I tend to fall back on and I use it on lots of my project life um, spreads whether that be 9 by 12 or 12 by 12 inch it's the same thing works just making sure I'm spreading that pattern around the page and not sort of clustering all those heavy patterned pieces in one section and now I just go in and I'm working out ways to really get my photos to stand off stand up and stand off the page especially when those pattern pieces are um 
are, are quite busy. I'm also looking at spots where I can tell my story and add some journaling and that little snippet of that stories card there um, has, does, has um, done the trick for that and I'll add that journaling in there and I'm just use, going through the ephemera and as you can see I've just popped down some key pieces around the layout. Some of those will stay there, some of them won't but it's just getting my eye into those sort of um, spots where I just want to add those bits of detail. The other thing that I'm falling back on is I've got some crepe paper um, cardstock sticker sheets. I, Whenever I crepe paper comes out with the collection I always grab a couple of those so that I can just add some of those gorgeous embellishments that seem to really resonate with my style um, just to add in some features there as well. So a little detail, a little banner up in the corner just to add that little bit of a title um, and you know, trying to keep with the, the circle theme that's going on that pattern piece. I found that circular embellishment sticker there and I've just tucked that in behind that banner just to help it pop off and then added that extra little puffy sticker there which um, just sort of brings it to life and adds that different texture on there. Oh my days, oh my days. I thought that was a good little spot when we caught a fish, adding a heart there because, well, it's a memory, that's for sure, and hopefully we'll have lots more in the future with Uncle Pete and some fishing adventures. I might even get brave enough to touch it. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, and, yeah, so just adhering everything down now, but I'm also thinking about some titles and some words. So I'm, those are the puffy stickers from the Legendary Collection, which are really great. They're a tiny size. You get two sheets um, and you have numbers and a few, like, things like hashtags and exclamation marks, but just a subtle little title there and a heart up the top and the bottom just to really draw your eye to that that phrase even though it's white and sort of blending in the background there and as you can see now I'm just moving from each square to each square just to adhere the things down and making sure that I'm just sort of keeping things looking neat and tidy and it all come together as one page there. So this is yeah a little bit rare I don't often jump on and share with you my project life spreads but I thought why not I've got this great kit and um, I haven't done a project life spread in a while and you know I like to talk out my techniques I'd like to hear what if you've got any tips and tricks for me to um, help bring it all together I love this little that's the one thing citrus twist does it always has lots of tiny word stickers in lots of different themes um, and adding some um, stamped sort of um, stamped feature on your layout just gives that another little bit of a texture but yeah I completely derailed then when I just saw those stamps there but yeah if you've got any tips for me on project life and your style because I know there's lots of different styles out there some people like that really clean minimalist look some people really stick to the same color palette throughout the entire album some people only do black and white which is always looks lovely but if you've got some ideas or want to share how you document your project Project life pages please let me know in the comments because I love being inspired by all of you as well so I'm adding my journaling in there I don't like my journaling to kind of float around a white space so that's why I always just put some um, lines underneath my my words it sort of just helps them jump off for me I don't get really finicky about um like using um, a ruler or anything like that. My handwriting's always kind of higgledy-piggledy. So I think, well, my lines can be a bit higgledy-piggledy too. <laughs> there you go. So I'm now just finishing off with some del the fun little bits. These are the little... The little bits of gems at the end where you get to add those little treasures and those little bits that when you look at your layouts closely you think oh look at that sweet little puffy heart um, and and then it should all come together. So if you're new to my channel a big welcome. I don't often do project life um, pages here on my channel but I do lots of other scrapbooking. Um, I've got some playlists there so you can have a look at those and those project lives do have a, their own playlist. Um, and yeah, I hope you would like to become a subscriber. All right, guys, happy scrapping. Take care. Bye.